Hi friends, welcome to our video on uh, analytical reasoning in this series from uh, betaguru.com and uh, today we are going to take a look at how to uh, decipher figures, Okay, how do we identify patterns inside a figure, that is what analytical reasoning is called. Okay, So, if you take a look at your screen, uh, there is a slide which says how many squares and there is a pattern inside that. Okay, so, this is one example of a figure uh, where you have to identify hidden patterns. So, if you take a close look at this particular square, uh, you can see that there are several ones. Okay, some squares are straight, some have been tilted to rest on an edge. Okay, so, uh, many of you will count different numbers of squares. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9 squares are there on its edge. And similarly, you can see a lot of squares that are in the normal shape, okay? That means uh, resting on their side. So, in this manner, you will be faced with a question and the question will be followed by several options and it will come along with the figure. Your task will be to determine the number of squares or the number of triangles or uh, whatever shape is asked in the question. So, let us take a look at one example. Now, the question on your screen says that find the minimum number of straight lines required to make the given figure followed by four options 13, 15, 17 or 90. Now, remember friends, this figure, okay, if you take a look at, look at it, is a combination of horizontal and vertical lines. So, if we just count the horizontal lines, and if we count the vertical lines, we will get the minimum number of lines okay, that are required to make this figure. Because even if I take away one line from those, my figure will be incomplete. So, let me start by counting the number of horizontal lines. Okay, so, starting from the top, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 horizontal lines. Okay, to put this in perspective, let me put it on the board for you, this particular figure. So, I have a square with me, okay, this is a square, inside the square is another smaller square, okay, now I will run a line through here and I will run a line like this and I am going to join these lines, okay, so this is the figure that we actually have in the question. Now, if I am to determine the minimum number of lines required, let me just count the number of horizontal lines. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 horizontal lines. Now, let me count the number of vertical lines. Okay, so, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 vertical lines. So, the total number of lines that I have which are essential in making this figure are 7 plus 6, 13 lines. So, totally I have 13 lines minimum that are required to make this figure. So, my answer to this question is going to be option A that is 13. So, friends in this manner we can solve problems on analytical reasoning and uh, do join me on the other side of this video. In part 2, we will be taking a look at uh, a couple of more examples which will give us more clarity on this topic. So, I will see you on the other side.